just want to do a quick demo on our forge we just got through building. We made it out of this scrap angle iron table with some plate welded to the top of it and a plow disc welded into that. It makes a real good fire pot. It's about two inches deep. Nice, nice dished surface. Uh, I'm fabricated my chimney in, uh, out of a stainless steel trash can and I needed to extend it a little bit so I cut the back out of an old smoker that wasn't any good and formed it and just crammed it up in there and it really helps out to catch the smoke and draw it out. It works a lot better. I'm really satisfied with that um, and it's not going to cook off any kind of fumes or anything. There's my fan, my blower. It's a typical bathroom exhaust fan. You can get them at any hardware store. I wired a dimmer switch, a fan dimmer switch into it. I might do a video on that one day. My T is a sweep. It's made out of PVC and I was worried about it melting. I said well I'm going to try it and if it melts I'll just do something else but surprisingly it hasn't melted. It's about 8 inches below the heat and that, that pipe gets hot but it's not hot enough to melt it and I haven't smelled any burning plastic so if it keeps working, I'm just going to let it alone. It, it really does good airflow. I'm really satisfied with it. I was surprised. My ash gate, there is a tractor muffler flap that I got at Tractor Supply. It wasn't too expensive, and I just forged me a counterbalance there out of a piece of bolt. Tried to upset a blob on the end. It was, it was pretty fun. Uh, and it works. It's not real pretty. I brighten this part of the video up in an attempt to uh, show you the disc underneath there. You can kind of see it. Uh, I just welded it under that plate there. It was very difficult to weld. Uh, I didn't weld it myself, but that's my clinker bar. And it's going through that coupling there into a half inch, one and a half inch bar right there. That's what I'm using for my clinker. And it works good. It's got good airflow. Uh, and it, it'll break it up if, if I have to. There's my chimney. The rest of that stainless steel trash can sticking out. I tried to seal up the cracks with that fireplace cement. It's kind of flaking off. I capped off the end with galvanized, but I made the flue out of a piece of brand new tin that I had left over. I just rolled it and riveted it and caulked the seam up with some fireproof resistant caulking that I found at Home Depot. And it's about seven and a half inches in diameter. And about a foot past the eve of the house, six six feet total. But uh, I was really satisfied with it. And it's outside the shop, and it, it doesn't get all that hot. But if it cooks off any about galvanized, it's outside. Um, I started lighting my forge with this weed burner recently. I saw a video on YouTube about somebody lighting their forge with a torch. That's that's a really it was like a monumental idea. I can still use the traditional method if I want to, but this is, to me, is so much faster. I'm going to let this run for a few minutes just to show you uh, how it works, how fast it is. But to get my airflow going, I, I light that small fire in that coffee can up there in my flue, and it, it just it's just there to get that hot air going. I, I put a pretty substantial fire in there, not just newspaper. I'll, I'll put wood in it just to keep it going and, and time for the forge to get lit up and for the forge, the hot gas from the forge to eventually replace that little fire, but that little fire will burn out and it's it's not hurting anything or bothering anything in there. Um, but as you can see, it's already drawing the smoke out. So we uh we've had this shop for about five months now and just built it out of stuff that we've had around here, some rough cut lumber and some tin from another barn. Tens old, holy, but it, it it's still good, and it adds a lot of character to the shop. Had a lot of help from the family to build it, and it's been a good place to work. But you can see a little bit of the smoke leaking out some, but it, once that fire gets established, it's it's all going out out of the chimney. I had. Uh, that's the reason why I posted this video was to show that chimney. I looked around and trying to find something that was safe to use and, and the proper diameter and stuff, and it was hard. So I said, "Well, I'm just going to see what I can do with what I have here, just to try." And that rolling that galvanized tin and making my own pipe seems to work pretty good.
using that torch to light it, you got to be careful. Don't let the end of it get burned off. I think the fire is pretty much established now. Take it a few more minutes to uh, probably get the welding heat, but break some coal on top of it and give it some more fuel. I am going to add some some side walls to this forge to try to keep some of that coal from falling off. I don't really have that much of a problem unless I stack it up, but this is a process. A little close up of, of the smoke getting drawn in. You can see it's not putting off as much smoke as it would you think now after a few minutes, but and just a shot of the smoke coming out of the chimney. It's drawing really well. I may need to extend that chimney up a little bit eventually. But let's just stick something in the fire so you all can see. I'm going to put old railroad spike in there and just to have some something to get hot and beat on a little bit. And probably make a meat turner out of that or something. Give it as a gift. But uh, anyway, it's my first YouTube video. Uh, you can comment or rate it or subscribe or whatever. It's, it's just a hobby for me and my family, my kids, to see what we can mess around with out in the shop, woodworking and blacksmithing. I appreciate your view. I'm not really going to make anything out of this one. I'll post some more videos. Thanks.